the TISA scan. It amazes me how creative IVF doctors are with coming up with additional procedures in order to make more money for themselves, which don't help the patient at all. And one of the things we're increasingly seeing is these are being done for patients with male factor infertility. What does that mean? Some men with male factor infertility will have what is called severe oligoestenospermia. They will have few sperms, their sperms won't be very motile. And some of these sperms will have what is called high DFI or high sperm DNA fragmentation. Completely useless test, but doctors will do it anyway. So now when they see this man and they do an ICSI for this man, which means they take out the eggs, put a single sperm inside the egg and the cycle fails, they blame the man for the failure. And they say, yes, there's a problem with your sperm. And that's the reason why the ICSI cycle fails. So what are we going to do? We're going to do a TISA ICSI for you. What does TISA ICSI mean? TISA means you extract the sperms directly from the testis, testicular sperm extraction. Now, this is great for the doctor because he can charge more for doing the TISA. It's not very kind for the patient and obviously costs a lot more money. But the pregnancy rates with TISA is no better than with regular ICSI using ejaculated sperm. And the reason is with ICSI. Once you put the sperm inside the egg, it doesn't matter where that sperm came from. The pregnancy rate is as good whether it comes from the testis or the epidermis or the ejaculate. So really doctors have no business doing a TISA whenever there's sperms in the ejaculate. And that's why you should not allow your doctor to do a TISA. They will sell you all kinds of dreams. They'll say, oh, when these sperms are in the semen, they will have all these antioxidants and they will cause all this damage. Whereas when you take fresh sperm from the testis, the pregnancy rate is better. Rubbish. Remember, testicular sperm were not designed to achieve fertilization. It's the ejaculated sperm's work. And if there are ejaculated sperm, please don't let the doctor do an unnecessary surgical procedure on you. This is simple common sense. There is no such thing as a minor surgical procedure, except of course for the doctor where every procedure is minor. For you, it's a major procedure with complication risks and therefore should not be done unless your sperm count is completely zero. In which case, perhaps, then that is the only possible solution. But if there are sperm in the semen, no teaser. 